Next up, the SMU Mustangs, Sonny Dykes. Sonny has got Dykes. things kind of rolling, man. Uh, went went ten and three. That's the team I like um, this year. They they went ten and three in 2019, seven and three last year. Got a quick start out the gate, but had some injuries, stuff to deal with. Their win total this year. Six and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Over is minus 105. The under is minus 125. Uh, SP Plus has them going seven and five. FPI has them going five and seven. So it is it's somewhere in between there, which six and a half is right in between five and seven. I mean, that makes sense. But, um, I mean, looking at the schedule, like they've got a gauntlet at the end of the season, so yep. they need to get a quick start. The offense returns at nine starters. Uh, but, you know, they, they bring in... Uh, quarterback Tanner Mordecai. They've got um, uh, tight end Calcaterra from Oklahoma. They they got Ulysses Bentley back at, at running back. They've got um, Reggie Roberson back from injury. Like they got they got game changers. They got stuff. Uh, they they've got like, Sonny Dykes running yeah. this machine. I mean, that's what they, they should got. put up forty points a game. Yeah, every every game this year. Uh, defense returns nine starters. They bring in new defensive coordinator Jim Levitt. So that is a a major should plus. Improve things. Linebacker Denbo and Robinson are studs. The D should improve this year. Uh, that six game stretch to close the year is is where I mean it's just brutal. That's if you right. look at this, Tulane at Houston at Memphis, UCF at Cincy, Tulsa. Yeah, that is ridiculous. Like I, there's not a there's not a guaranteed win anywhere in that bunch. No, but but the way they start out, if if they go three and three in that, then then, then they then we got a good shot. Then they bust this thing. Yeah. Yeah, because like the hardest outside game, of TCU, well, they, that's that's I, it, right? I think they're running the gauntlet on everybody else. Like this is how they they open up with Abilene Christian, North and, Texas, and at Michigan, Louisiana Tech. Don't tell me, you know, like, I I love you know I love Gary Patterson. Yeah, tell me, but this is he's rivalry. Gonna, he's going to look past this. This is this is the 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 Dallas Bowl here, man. Yes, this is a rivalry. This is the real deal. This is the real deal. So they might they might snake that win out. No, you're 100 percent right. That'll hurt my feelings, but I I can believe it. I can believe it. I understand. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.